Good morning, saints. Please stand for prayer. Today is the feast of St. Narcissus. St. Narcissus, please pray for all of us and especially for those celebrating a birthday today. Happy birthday to Madison Byerly and Anna Schmier. Let us pray. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord, we can become so preoccupied with the cares and concerns of this world that we take our eyes off you and put other things before you. Call us out of ourselves so that we always keep you first in our lives. Together we pray. Heavenly Father, we praise you and give you thanks for the blessings you have bestowed upon us. Keep us accordant with truth and active in charity, as exemplified by our patron, St. Thomas Aquinas. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please join me as we honor our flag and country. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Have a great day, saints. Good afternoon, saints. Welcome to the fourth day of Halloween. Today is Thursday, October 29th. Scotty interviewed some students and faculty walking by the learning commons a couple days ago, but little did they know they were in for a little surprise from Tyler Hartle. Let's take a look. Uh, Katie Monslow Sr. All right, and tell us, do you have any good Halloween story from when you were younger? Probably when I was little, I decided to dress up as a bumblebee. Oh, really? And my sister decided to dress up as a ladybug. Okay. And we decided to switch costumes outside. Yeah. So we just like started stripping off our clothes and switching oh. costumes. Oh, okay. Um, you know, um, when my I was a kid, my buddy and I used to get like a pillowcase full of Halloween. Yeah. One time, these high school kids come over and say, hey, come over here, and they just squirted us with water. Really? Oh, it made me so mad. You know, that's what high school kids did. Yeah. I didn't know. You know, we, kids came and asked you to come over, you just did it. Mm -hmm. That's my funny Halloween story. Mm -hmm. Do you have, like, a great Halloween costume that you had? Um, I dressed up as a pumpkin one year. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, I just remember you guys have made <laughs> Jason, what is your problem? Uh, <laughs> most of the Halloween costumes I had. <laughs> what? that story or not? Sure, sure. Okay. Just tell your story. All right, my best costume. Oh, oh, well, <laughs> my eighth grade year, I went as a uh, PC. Ah! Oh, but me and my honey bunch, go to, go to, she comes up with the idea, so I go as a hairbrush. Boys soccer always has a Halloween party, except this year we can't because of COVID-19. But me and my honey bunch, go to, go to, she comes up with that, and then she shows up as like uh, the Grim Reaper. Oh. So yeah, so we go as a brush with death. The boys soccer team followed suit with the girls volleyball state quarters win. The boys opened playoffs with a 3-1 win over defending state champs, Blue Valley Southwest. Sophomores Barrett Kitts and Ethan Young scored the first two sen first two with senior Xavion Russell scoring the final goal on the ball from Kitts. Ethan Young! Oh, in. oh! Xavion Russell! 
Of course it is. The boys travel to Spring Hill tomorrow for the regional championship at 4 o'clock. The History and Civic Ex Engagement Club will be having a meeting Monday during STA period in the Commons. We will be working on a project to honor our nation's veterans. We will be creating large posters with pictures of family members of Aquinas students who have served in the military to be hung in the halls. We need all help we can get. Everyone is welcome to come help. Attention girls interested in trying out for girls basketball. There will be a meet, an information meeting next Tuesday, November 3rd in the main gym immediately after school. If you are unable to attend, see Coach Hetzel in room 150. Campus ministry prays a decade of the rosary every day after school in the chapel from 3.05 to 3.15. Join us. All are welcome. Remember to all from the cafeteria staff, your lunch account is a debit card, not a credit card. You need to make sure you have money on your account to buy your lunches. Thank you. Yesterday, students in Coach Hetzel's Principles of Applied Engineering class participated in the University of Kansas Engineering Competition. The team of Grace O'Keefe, Mitchell Farrar, and Owen Canicaris placed first in the biomedical field, building a ventilator. Also placing first in the civil engineering field was the team of Dylan Potter and Zach Meyer. Both these teams are granted $2,000 in scholarship money for the KU Engineering Program. Placing second in the biomedical field was the team of Issy Earp and Connor Hanrahan. And coming in second with the civil field was the team of Quinton Path, Michael Tumberger, and Luke Potter. Great job, Saints! Today's Saint of the Day is Saint Narcissus. Saint Narcissus was born in 99 AD and at the age of 80 was made the 30th Bishop of Jerusalem. He was a popular pastor and was so sought after for his advice that he occasionally had to go to be alone with the Lord in the country to be refreshed in his faith. St. Narcissus lived 117 years. Now it's time for the fun fact of the day. Did you know that Switzerland, it is illegal to own one guinea pig? They get so lonely and depressed, so by Swiss law, you must have at least two, which is really sad, but also really cool. Thanks for watching today's Midday Show. We'll be back tomorrow with more announcements. I'm Emma. Don't forget, we'll find a way to make today great.